Hi there everyone, Tom here from OneSite Solutions. This is just a very quick video to show you how to retain your connection history here on the left in a nav tree when you upgrade to a newer version of Niagara 4 on your machine. Um, you'll notice uh, since Niagara 4 was released in, the, uh, in your user space, user folder in Windows, a separate folder exists for each version of Niagara 4 as opposed to just a single a Niagara folder that used to exist here in AX and that, that's the reason why all previous connections etc aren't carried across. Anyway, it's quite simple. This is 4.6 here and you see my connection history. I'll just quickly show you what 4.7 looks like. and see 4.7, I've got no connection history. So, under your users directory in Windows, I usually see users and then your username. I'm going to go into my previous directory, 4.6, into the Bicom folder, into the ETC folder, and here you'll see a navtree.xml. If I quickly open that up, you'll see that's where all my connections are stored. So I'm going to take a copy of that, and I'm going to come back up and go into my newer Niagara 4.7 user directory, into the same folder. I'm going to rename the original navtree.xml. It's always good practice to rename files and doing things like this as opposed to deleting, just in case something goes wrong. Paste that navtree.xml in there, and then I'm going to open 4.7. And there we go, there's the uh, connection history on the left. Just a quick note, this won't carry across your credentials, um, rather just the uh, addresses and um, whether it's a secure connection or a non-secure connection. Um, you, you'd hope that you're storing your, your actual username and password safely elsewhere in a password database or whatnot anyway, but at least this makes... Um, migrating between different Niagara versions a bit easier, especially if you've got loads of jobs there and tens or hundreds of connections. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. It's just a quick one. If you like these type of videos, please do subscribe to us on YouTube and check out our website. Thank you.